Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Southfield's Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories Let's Play. So I'm just showing you here on the map real quick of where I am located for another kind of side mission type of thing. I was really debating on doing this right now uh, because it is it can be difficult to finish it. Uh, but I decided, you know what, go ahead and at least start it, you know, anyway. Um, you know, every Grand Theft Auto game, you have to collect cars for a garage. This is that moment that we're going to do for the Love Media Garage of the Car AZ Car Giveaway or something like that. Um, so, some of these cars can be difficult to spawn. Uh, if you can't find them all just yet, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Just wait until we open up the third island. Then it'll be a little easier for you. So, here we are uh, at the Love Media building, I guess, or like one of his buildings. Um, so, step into this little icon here and it shows love media need prizes to give away in their car crazy car giveaway if you supply them with the vehicles they need in good condition you'll be well rewarded um so here is the uh list of vehicles i mean it says well rewarded but whatever I mean, so the first one is of course the pcj 600 and i'm going in the order of the ones that i have found so uh, you know sports bike with sleek design uh parked at salvatore's mansion uh, or in the motor story garage, or you can just find them driving around everywhere. And of course, I already had this one from the uh, last mission, you know, the Avenging Angels that uh, I finished off. So I just went ahead and put that in there. Um, now, another thing I want to point out is that it says it needs to be in good condition. I've noticed, like, I've banged up my cars quite a bit, bringing them to the garage, and it still gave me the same amount or same price amount. So the second one I found was a V8 Ghost. Uh, these you can uh, find. You know, on the street, but there is one that's parked uh, north of the garage on your right-hand side in the corner. The reason why I showed that little video kit is because I did find this one just driving around on the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's uh, trying to come after it. Uh, the street right next to the garage. Uh, so, there we go. There's the V8 Ghost. Uh, I know these little uh, clips of the car information is a little fast, so if you need to pause the video to kind of read up on it a little more... Go for it. Second one here, or the third one here, is the Banshee. Again, driving around everywhere. Um, you can see the parked, parked locations and the driving around locations and kind of what it looks like or resembles at the top there. So that's what I tried doing for these. But for the most part, hopefully by this point, you kind of have an idea of what the majority of them look like, especially if playing other uh, Grand Theft Auto games. I think there's only a couple of vehicles here that are unique to Liberty City Stories. I think like the Ghost is one. Uh, the Manana is, of course, in other Grand Theft Auto games, but uh, can resemble a mix of a Honda. You know, sometimes a convertible. You know, sometimes it'll have a top, sometimes it won't. Uh, always near the church, church's front entrance in Staunton. Um, this one, again, I found on the street. I didn't even realize about the church until afterwards, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. And so there is the Manana. And as you can see, I did damage the back of it, so... I... You know, normally in previous games, I've noticed, you know, you'll, it'll take some money off for your reward, but it still took it and gave you a full $1,000 reward for it. The other one is the freeway, um, the Roadhog motorcycle, as I like to call it. Uh, let's see, it's usually in the parking garages or, you know, different areas, but you can also find a uh, driving around a lot on the street, like you see what I just did there. I took that and then went right into the garage. I've been really lucky on finding some of these vehicles early on, but there's other vehicles that take a little bit more work to get. All right, so here is the freeway, dropping that off, and you get a finder's fee of $2,000. And just to let you know, the reward for this isn't the best. So the hearse is only parked in one location, uh, or you can find it driving around in a uh, Donald Love mission coming up, but just go to the park location, which is at the hospital all the way up north. As you can see where I'm at here on the map, uh, there is this like small lot uh, facing the uh, northern road bit. Um, so just get into that. And I hate the grammar on this. As you see, it says Love Media need one of the one of these. Um, shouldn't it be Love Media needs one of these with the S at the end of need? I just hate reading that every single time. It bugs me. You know, I'm a grammar Nazi like that. It really, really bugs me. It's Love Media needs one of these, not need one of these. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know how they missed that out. So, finder's fee of $500. Now, this one is unique. It's a Thunder Rod. Um, oh, uh, it's one of those things where uh, it only appears after 
Benny the Mission, Grease Sucho, Suko, whatever, uh, way back when in Portland. And yeah, so it's once you beat that mission, then it'll be uh, parked at that location in Chinatown. So anyway, you have to bring it, go to Portland, pick it up, bring, come all the way back to Staunton, and drop it off. But it is a kind of a cool vehicle, though. I like it. Or the style of it, anyway. Uh, all right, so there is the uh, Thunder Rod for $4,000. All right, so what next? Like the Hellenbach GT. Now this one, hopefully you remember me talking about it in a previous mission. Uh, the only way, from what I understand, that you can uh, really obtain this, I mean, such as it'll be in Shoreside Bill, but uh, is to, for a, uh, you know, a good thing is to, a good thing, like, a set location for it to be parked at is completing at least level four of the car salesman side mission in Portland. So just go into the showroom, pick this up. I'm actually gonna get the uh, <laughs> money here since we're here, you know, why not? So pick that money up and then uh, take it all the way back to Staunton and into the garage to drop that off. Now do know I did not find every single car in this video. There's like one that I could not find, but I do find it later on before you know, heading over to Shoreside. But again, like I said, if you cannot find them all, it's okay. So the next one is the Patriot. Uh, we have seen these quite a bit. Uh, you see the back could look a little different. Uh, in Staunton, it is parked in the alleyway south of the Amu Nation. Um, but this one, again, I just found on the street. I didn't even think about it. Uh, the, you know, the parking location. I probably should have just gone to that, but whatever. So, oh, there's the banana to the uh, right, as you saw in front of the church, if you haven't got that one yet. <clears throat> Again, like I said, I'm sorry for these uh, information bits being too short. Like, you know, I was hoping to make them long enough. I didn't even think about, you know, editing this. Um, so, here we go. Fighters for you $4,000. But like I said, just uh, pause the video if you need to read more. So, the BF Injection, it's only parked uh, in Portland along the beach just below Salvatore's Mansion. Uh, and so it could be one of the vehicles uh, that shows up in the car salesman side mission. But... Just go to the park location right here. Like I said, it's at Portland Beach. Um, gosh, let's see if I can even get over there. So yeah, just <laughs> however you can manage it, bring it all the way back to Staunton yet again. I know it's a lot of back and forth trips to Portland, Staunton, Portland, Staunton, but it's where these vehicles are. This is what you have to do. So there is the BF injection. Dropping that off. And funder's fee of $3,000 for that one. I guess the monetary reward is pretty good, even though... You really don't buy much with it. So the Land Stalker. Um, sometimes it's parked at the barn by the pond in Belleville Park. Uh, and randomly in the casino lot. Uh, Shoreside, you know, there are some locations there. But I'm not Sorry, focusing too much on Shoreside right now since we haven't unlocked it yet. So that's why I'm just trying to focus more on Staunton areas. So, uh, yeah, I see I found it on the street uh, way up north by the, the safe house. But... Anyway, you know, dropping this off, the Land Stalker, I know always have that wheel in the back so you know which SUV it is. Um, so dropping it off, you'll get a fighter's fee of $3,000. Alrighty, and then for the next one, we have the Faggio. Uh, we all know what the Faggio is, it's like the worst one out there. Um, now, as you can see, it's parked at the steps of the Liberty Cam Campus, which is what I am picking up right now. So that's this one, and so, yep, just take it all the way back. It's a long ride because it's a slow bike, but, you know, do what you gotta do, right? Do what you gotta do. Uh, dropping this off, probably be a sh small monetary reward. Yep, $500 because it's such a cheap, crappy bike. I hate the Faggios, but, you yeah, know, it's a little moped, motor shooter thing. So, Deimos, Deimos SP. This is unique to Liberty City Stories, this vehicle. Now, this one... <clears throat> Took a little while to uh, make spawn. What I did was start the uh, Deimos uh, race that we did. Remember the phone booth thing uh, south of the Liberty Stadium? I just started that one uh, to hopefully make them spawn more on the streets because, you know, those are the type of vehicles that the racers use. I tried stealing a vehicle for the racer, but the door would not open up. And so I just uh, went like, whatever, screw it. And then I found this just driving along the street you know, later on. So, here we go for that. And then, 
for the next one, we will have a Sentinel. Yep, Sentinel. Um, you know, it's a mid-sized four-door sedan. Uh, usually parked at the Capital Auto Showroom after car sales, but two, but before level four. So most likely, you know, we have a, it won't be there because we've already should have completed level four. But here, I found this one on the street as well. Just kind of pay attention also, obviously, that's why I had the pictures, to what it looks like, like the bumpers, the... Uh, tail lights, headlights, the uh, fixtures, the shape and size of everything there. So try doing that and you'll get a finder's fee of $4,000. Now I always think of the Sentinel as a cheap car, but I guess it's whatever. See the Phobos VT. Um, kind of resembles the Corvette and Camaro uh, parked at Shoreside in the gravel lot just west of our future hideout. But of course that's Shoreside, not Staunton. So this one I also found uh, on the uh, street driving around, but it, this isn't could be another rare one to uh, make spawn. Again, for these type of vehicles, the best way to do it is to uh, get another sports car like a Banshee or whatever you can find, drive it around. Start driving around in that for a bit and hopefully eventually one of these will uh, spawn. So that is all I found. As you see, all I have left is the Infernus because that is a an extremely rare vehicle to make spawn, uh, especially in Sutton and even in short side build, it's a little hard to make spawn. So um, I just finally ended it with that and show you that we were at 53% towards 100% completion. All right. So anyway, that's it with this video, everyone. I love you all. Peace out. Until next time. Adios.